All right, here we go. Foundational workout number one, simple exercises, squats, lunges, push-ups, planks, um, bridges, some other little stuff in there, but we're just gonna cut right to the chase. Do like a simple three minute warm up, and then let's just get feeling some pain, okay, yay. Quick snapshot, this workout should take about 15 minutes. There are seven exercises. First set is 30 to 30 work to rest ratio. Second is 20 and 10, and no equipment. Do not forget to set your watch or else the entire workout doesn't count and you'll have to do it all over again. All right, we're warming up. We are doing voiceover work now because who really wants to talk and work out at the same time? All right, so we're just arm circling it forward. This is just a plain, simple little warm up, like about three minutes just to get your blood pumping. Uh, circle it backwards, smell your armpits. Yep, yep, making sure I'm wearing some deodorant there. So that's good. Um, yeah. After a few of those, about 15 of each, we're just going to go into some knee hugs. Knee hugs. My pants look really sparkly when I'm wearing them on here. I don't know if that'll translate over when I upload this to YouTube, but they look sparkly right now. All right, we're knee hugging. If you want to lean back and pull it in just to get that extra good stretch through your glutes, because we will be doing some squats. All right, now you're just going to grab your back foot. And you're just going to alternate uh, doing that quad stretch, quad stretch. You're just going back and forth. Um, if you need to hold on to something during this, you can. Um, now I've added just a little hinge forward to kind of get the hamstrings worked and just get that hip hinge, just a little bit more movement there. All right, so now we're torso twisting. Just because we're gonna be working some twisting exercises too, it's all part of the foundations. So we're twisting it. Uh, make sure you pivot that back leg when you twist too or else it can put some funkiness on your knee and you don't really want that, yay. Up, we've got to do something to amuse ourselves because this is kind of boring. Okay, and now we're going to do some hip hinges. The most important thing with hip hinges is it stretches out your hamstrings, but it also engages your lower back. Um, make sure you keep your back flat. So the only thing really moving is your hips. Your hips go back, your weight stays on your heels, you feel that stretch through your glute and the back of your legs, but you're not arching forward at all. All right, moving up, you're just gonna stretch up and you're gonna go side to side, stretching out your obliques. Goal here, stretch up super, super tall. Try not to lean forward or backwards when you're going side to side. You just wanna be straight up stretching tall and not twisting either. I keep hitting the TRX. You'll see me hit that thing like a ton during this entire workout. Um, all right, just stretching out the chest now, stretch upper back. Uh, chest back and forth hitting the TRX this feels really good because I'm actually really sore right now so we'll see how well I do right here all right I'm just checking to see the time because yeah all right now you're just gonna go knees up and out knees up and forward sometimes we call these gate swings other people call these different things but it's like you're stepping over like the gate and going back and forth because we're not actually going over a gate you're like hmm am I gonna go over this gate nah change my mind let's go backwards all right Checking the time. All right, we're doing good. We are doing good. A few more of those. All right, now we're gonna take it down to the ground. We're gonna do some glute bridges. These are actually part of the workout too, but we gotta engage the booty because uh, your glutes are probably one of the most important part of your entire body. Cause this is actually activating your core, your glutes, your hamstrings. Um, so yeah, you're gonna get a good little burn right here. Just getting that blood flow. And from there, we're just gonna keep it up twist it around, tuck your shirt in so you're not flashing everyone around you, and just a few mountain climbers are just doing about 20 of them right here. So this is just getting that heart rate up and moving. All right, and done. First exercise, 30 seconds, get ready for squats. Ready, set, and let's go. We're squatting. The biggest thing right here when you're squatting is you want to make sure that your weight is staying on your midfoot or heels and you're pushing your hips back behind you. I'll turn sideways in a sec so you can see. Yeah, feeling the burn. It's already burning, you know. I keep checking my watch. I keep saying I'm checking my watch for the time, but really I'm just seeing how long it is until I'm done because it hurts. All right. Now you can see here, my hips are going back, chest is staying up. I'm not like I'm not completely vertical, but my chest is open. All right. We're resting, 30 second break. Enjoy some wow dancing right here. My sexy little night elf is doing her little dance. All right, this is where you shake out your legs because the next thing we're gonna do is push-ups. It got really quiet, is this awkward? All right, get ready for push-ups. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Ready, all right, and 
Let's go. I don't know why I got all vertical. I don't know how to do anything. All right, so you can either be on your feet or you can start from your knees in a modified push-up. You can even do this with your hands up on a table or up on a wall. You do not have to be down on the ground in push-ups like this. As you can see, I get tired, so I'm going to adjust. This is called modifying before you quit. All right, so I drop down to my knees. I'm keeping those push-ups going, and we're resting in three, two, one. All right, now it's time for a picnic and wow. I don't know if I should turn the sound off or, or just talk through it. Am I even muted right now? I don't know what life is. All right, we're getting ready for lunges. Getting ready for lunges. Stand up. You're going to put your right foot or your left foot. I don't care. Put one foot in front. Nice wide stance on your legs. And we're going now. All right. Basically, we're doing stationary lunges. So you're going to keep one leg in front the entire time and just drop that back knee almost to the ground. Please control your weight down so you're not, you know, slamming that knee into the ground. That does not feel good for anybody. Oh, look, we're flying. We're flying. All right, we're just going to switch over to a side view here so you can see chest stays up. Front knee does not travel too far in front of that front toe. Back knee goes towards the ground again without slamming. And you're going to switch legs right now. No rest. No rest. Haha. -ha. You're just moving right over. Switch legs. Put that other leg in front and keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. I know it's hard. You probably started with a good leg. And so now you've got your weaker leg in front. And so now you're like, what the hell am I even doing with my life? Because this really sucks. Not my bad leg in front. This is burning so much. See, this is why I do voiceovers and I'm not actually trying to talk through the workout because it burns. All right, resting. Now. All right, I didn't have a good a good clip. So here, here's me fighting a boss in game. So I, so I hopefully get the, the headless horseman mount off of this guy. Am I going to get it? Spence is killing me. All right, well, while we're seeing if I'm going to get them out, you get on the ground and get ready for planks. No, I didn't get them out. Damn it. All right, here, we're planking. For your planks, you want to make sure that your back is straight. You don't want your butt in the air or your back arched and your pelvis towards the ground. All right, you're just chilling. Just a 30-second plank right here. Push your heels back towards the wall behind you. Squeeze your booty and your quads. Don't put your butt in the air, and don't sag those hips to the ground either. You want to be nice and straight. You're almost done. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. Don't stop. We're resting. Now, yay. All right, 30 second rest. Meanwhile, enjoy some corgis. Look at there's corgis that have taken over. Wow. They're so cute. Shake out those abs while you get ready for the next exercise. I forgot what it is because I'm not paying attention. All right, bird dogs, we're going back on your hands and knees. For the bird dogs, you're going to lift your left arm while lifting your left or right leg behind you. I did the other way. Kick the CRS. All right. So one arm up, opposite leg is up behind you. The goal of this one is you really want to stretch, make your spine long, and you want to get that arm just above your ear at the same time getting your back leg just slightly above your hips. You don't want to go crazy and like try to keep the ceiling or anything, but yeah. We are going to switch sides here and no rest in three, two, one, switch sides, no rest. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening on my phone right now, I'm so sorry. All right, same thing here. You're trying to get that arm up to next to your ear or just slightly above your ear. Your eyes should be focused on the ground here. You're trying to actually touch your elbow to your kneecap, not to the top of your quad. What this does is this really helps with your thoracic spine stability and mobility. This is both creating mobility and stability. And you're gonna rest right now. Chill out. And now you're enjoying some selfies. Selfies in game. Oh my God, we're so cute. All right, you're shaking it out. Next exercise, you're gonna be lying on your back for those glute bridges again. So you're just chilling. This black and white looks pretty good here. All right, get ready for glute bridges because we're starting in three, 
two, one. For these, you're lying on the ground. You're going to push those hips up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Push them up there. You're pushing through your heels, not through your toes. So you want to get those hips up high. You want to squeeze your glutes, and you want to hold that top position for a couple of seconds. For if you want a little bit harder, you can try lifting your arms up off the ground like I did for less stability. It kind of just makes your core work a little bit harder. Up and pause for a couple seconds, then bring it down. All right, we're resting now. 30 seconds. We're almost done with this first round. Almost done. I'm tired. We want to take a nap. Is it just me or does it look like I have sparkles all over my back? It's just quick nap time. We like naps. All right. You're going to stand up now. We're going to get ready for I's, T's, Y's, and W's. So you're going to stand up. You're going to hip hinge forward like we did for warm up. In three, two, one. All right, you're gonna bring both arms up by your ears, then both arms out in the Y position, both arms directly out to the side in that T, and then both arms back behind you in, I guess, W, but maybe it's an M, maybe it's an A, who knows, just know your alphabet. What you're doing here is you're trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Damn, DRX. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, both sides. You're also squeezing your abs. This is great for spinal stability. But right in between those shoulder blades, push and hold for just a sec. This is a great way to get your back worked out when you don't have any equipment. All right, now you are resting. You can either pause here, get a break, take a little bit longer, because coming up next, we are doing 20 seconds of work with only 10 seconds of rest. So it's going to be a little turbocharged. All right, when you've taken enough of a break, you're unpausing it, and we're going right into squats. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Squat it out. We're going to have short work, shorter rest period. This is trying to get your heart rate up. Remember, pushing through those heels, hips back. Keep it moving. Try not to rest at all right here. It's just 20 seconds. Dance it out, dance it out. And we're resting in three, two, one. Take a break. All right, 10 seconds of rest, not that long, just basically enough time for you to roll over on your stomach, get ready for those push-ups in three, two, one, go, push-ups. We're going, punch them out. Remember, core tight, hips in line with your shoulders. Keep moving, keep moving. If you have to take a break, you have to drop down to your knees, drop down to your knees, or if you just need to hold a plank, modify before you quit, don't just stop. Three, two, one one and we're resting we're battling that trx right now sometimes you just gotta get goofy come on man all right next one lunges three two one and go one leg in front 20 seconds of lunges and remember here we're not gonna rest after this you're just gonna swap legs bring the other leg in front keep it up keep it up you got about five more seconds before you swap legs and three two one and let's get that other leg in front right there keep it going this is 40 seconds of work i'm kind of a big fat liar like most of the time when i do things so just ignore me we're just getting these foundation movements worked all right almost done don't stop moving we're done in three two one and rest all right next one we're doing is going to be planks wait push-ups no shit planks haha -ha. i know what i'm doing three Two, one, and plank it out. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Remember, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, it's actually more like 10 seconds now. All right, we are going to be resting real soon. Just got a few more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're going into bird dogs. Same thing. On your hands and knees. Three, two, one. All right, bird dogs. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, you're trying to get that elbow into your kneecap right there. Ignore the fact that I, that's the exact same clip twice because I totally forgot to do 20 seconds. I did 10 seconds. All right, you're switching legs in three, two, one, and switch legs. Other little arm up, elbow to kneecap. Oh, shit. All right. Sorry, I can totally edit that out, but I definitely won't because I'm lazy. So keep it going. You got about five more seconds left before a good little rest here. 
and rest. Don't worry about that black screen right there. I just don't know what I'm doing at all. All right, glute bridges are coming up next. Lay on your back in three, two, one, and booty up, and bring it back down. Booty up, and bring it back down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Remember, if you think you can push your hips up just like an inch higher, push them up just a little bit more. All right, we're resting in three, two, one. Rest. All right, the last one is those I's, T's, Y's, and W's, working that upper back, going core stability in three, two, one. Standing up, let's go. Arms up by your ears, and in that Y position, bring it out to that T position, and back down to the A or W, or whatever you want to call it. All right, 10 more seconds. Keep it up. Squeezing it through. And you are done. Good job. See, that was super fast foundational exercises. And that is it. If you want to do more and this wasn't good enough, or it wasn't good enough, but you still want to do more, feel free to just like rewind it back to the beginning um, and do it again because that was two rounds. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, followed by 2010, a little bit faster, just get a little moving. Um, but yeah, if you want more, just rewind, repeat, do it again. Next week will be same, same, but different, slightly different exercises, but still following off the same foundational movements. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Don't forget that for every new subscribe I get after this video, until I post the next fitness video next Wednesday, I will do five burpees on YouTube or Twitch Live haven't decided but I will post it somewhere follow me on my social medias below to figure out where I'm gonna post it and yeah you guys have a lovely day I burned for two rounds I burned 210 calories but I was also stopping going and filming and stuff like that so if you kept going through probably burn more actually because you kept your heart rate up so yay bye